Scientists have pieced together the half billion year history of New York City. Huge mountains, volcanic eruptions, and glacial ice shape the area. But New York's story doesn't end here. The geology that created one of the greatest cities on Earth also has the potential to destroy it. Experts have been studying the potential threat to the city. We're standing here in lower Manhattan on one of our major thoroughfares, Canal Street. And it's important because in 1821, a Category 2 hurricane raised the water level at the Battery 13 feet in one hour. And literally, the Hudson River met the East River, and Canal Street was covered by water, and Manhattan was actually two islands for three hours until the water receded. New York City is vulnerable because of its position on the coast. Long Island stretches northeast at a right angle from the New Jersey shore. New York City is nestled behind the western end of Long Island. Normally, the island protects the city from the sea. But when hurricanes threaten, the opposite is true. Long Island becomes a dangerous liability. Hurricanes racing north along the beaches of the Atlantic coast pile up huge bulges of water in front of them. They're called storm surges. Hitting the right angle junction at Long Island, the winds funnel the storm surge in through the narrows, the gap between Long Island and New Jersey. This is the place at the actual apex of the right angle in New York where all the water being pushed by a hurricane would be concentrated. And in the distance is the Verrazano Bridge, and all that water is going to go through the passage we call the Narrows, and it's going to be accelerated toward New York City, where it will rise to abnormal heights. Experts believe that in the United States, New York is the third most vulnerable city, after Miami and New Orleans, to a hurricane disaster. If it was hit today, the consequences would be serious. New York City uh, is hit by hurricanes only infrequently, like in 1821 and in 1893 and in 1938. However, the point is that the hurricane that will eventually hit New York City again will be catastrophic. And what is going to happen when the utilities are knocked out? What is going to happen when salt water reaches into the subways and ruins the electrical system? We're talking about unbelievable amounts of money to restore the infrastructure. We're talking about setbacks and delays in commerce and banking and transportation, a catastrophe that's never been seen. 